Hey everyone, good morning. It's Mary Fane Brandt with a LinkedIn Bakery serving up your Monday motivation tip. I'm here every Monday at 7 a.m. with a weekly tip to help you stay motivated. And I, I know I'm late, and here's you're gonna get two tips today. Number one, always check your settings. I was practicing some uh, things yesterday on Facebook Live. I was testing something out, and so I was posting in a private group, the Fame Family um, group, because we have a Facebook group, and I didn't change it. So I accidentally just posted it in my family group, so I'm going to have to go in there and delete that. So I'm here. I'm sorry for being tardy. First off, you know, I want to know where you're watching from, what city, what state, what continent. Let me know. Also, I want to know what is your business because I love connecting people. That's my God-given talent. So what business or industry are you in? <coughs> Excuse me. Time for coffee. Wow, I can't believe I just posted in the wrong group. That was That was pretty hilarious. So today, my motivation tip for you is, have you chosen a word for 2018? If you have, great. I want to know what that word is. So drop it in the comments below. If you don't even know what, like Mary, what does that mean, choose a word for the year? Well, choosing a word for the year can really help you um, focus for the year. It can really help you have like clarity of what you need to work on or what your goals are. It can also help align your goals for the year. Um, it can also help keep your tasks front of mind. And it also helps with reviewing your year to see how you did. And I love doing this exercise. I've been doing it for three years now. And I'm going to tell you a little story about the, the first uh, or last year when I chose my word. So in uh, C1, the Christian Women's Entrepreneur Network Group, we do this word or we do this exercise every year. Oh, hey, Amy, thanks for joining. Your word is relax. That's a great word for you, right? Um, so every year we choose a word and we pray about it or meditate about it. You know, you really think. You don't just say, okay, this year I want to have financial freedom. That's great. If that's what If that's what you want, then what you have to do is write down three steps of how you're going to get that. So here's what it looked like for me in 2017. I'm sitting on the couch, I'm reading Facebook, seeing that we're going to do this exercise, and I'm thinking, I'm like, cool, I want growth. I already know I want growth. I'm like, that's my word. I go in strong. I'm like, yep, my word's growth. We break into our little mastermind groups, and I start answering the questions like, so in business, life, and faith, or yeah, um, so I did business, um, health, and faith. So my word was growth in all of those areas. And then under each um, topic, you know, or each section, business, like growth, well, how am I going to get that? So I'm like, okay, I need to be consistent in my marketing. I need to be consistent and do a monthly newsletter. I need to be um, consistent in the hours I work. And then health, how am I going to get healthy? Well, I need to be consistent in what I'm eating, right? I need to make better choices. I need to be consistent and go to the gym. And then faith, you know, my faith. How am I going to grow in faith? Well, I need to be consistent in reading my Bible. I need to be consistent in prayer, consistent in going to church, consistent in volunteering. Do you see what happened? What do you think my word was for 2017? It wasn't growth. My word was consistency. So I needed to be consistent in order to have growth. So it's really important that you follow the game plan of how to choose your words. You've got to follow the steps and write down under each area of your life three things that are going to get you to where you want to be. And you might see some consistency in a word that is just right for you. So what I'd love for you guys to do is I'd love for you to think about this, come back, to this Facebook Live and drop your word in. If you already know your word, go ahead and drop that in the comments. And then I wanted to show you guys what to do after you choose your word. So this is my little chalkboard. You can see it's kind of like I got a crack over here. I've had it for a few years. So, so my word is focus. And wait, this is my Bible verse that goes with it. 
I like to choose a Bible verse to um, inspire me and encourage me. So your word for the year is all to help you stay on track, stay focused, encourage, and inspire you. That's what it's for. You want to put it around your house, on your laptop, you know, frame it. That's a really good idea. I know someone did that, but like frame it, put it in your office, put it in your bedroom. So I have this, and last year it sat just in my bedroom when I would see it in the morning, but it didn't, you know when something's in the same place all the time, you don't necessarily really look at it. So this year I've decided this little chalkboard, this one right here is going to be moving around. My husband's going to love that. It's going to be in the kitchen maybe, in the bedroom, in the office, so that I'm con consistently seeing it in different places and it'll trigger my mind to stay focused because in order for me to continue to grow my business um, and to not get so overwhelmed I need to focus on the task at hand I have what's called glitter glitter syndrome you might know it as squirrel squirrel or ADD like I can't focus I will be doing or I think I'm doing five things at once when I'm really only either writing a newsletter answering emails or um, typing up a contract. I can't do everything at once, so why am I doing five minutes here, six minutes here, eight minutes here? I need to focus on the task at hand in front of me. So if I'm cleaning the house, I need to clean the house. If I'm working in my office, I need to work in my office. Or if I'm cooking dinner, I need to cook dinner. I can't tell you how many times I've been cooking dinner and then I run to the office thinking I'm gonna, you know, check some emails or answer some questions and then I might burn something or boil the water down to nothing in a pan. So my word this year is focus. I hope that you like this exercise and motivation tip for 2018. Make sure that you come back, drop your word in the comments, um, and let me know how I can support you. Y'all have a great week out there. It's Mary Fane Brandt with the LinkedIn Bakery.